The Dallas Police Department is seeking the public's help in identifying a man seen in surveillance video and a still image who may be connected to the recent theft of two Emperor Tamarin monkeys from the Dallas Zoo. The man was wearing a navy blue hooded sweatshirt and a navy and red beanie cap and eating a bag of Doritos. The zoo has been closed due to an ice storm and this is the fourth time this month that the zoo has discovered its animals or their enclosures may have been tampered with, including the death of a vulture last week. They are increasing security and offering a reward. Pope Francis recently visited the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where he gave a speech condemning the centuries of exploitation of the country and continent. He encouraged the outside world to acknowledge the catastrophic things done in the country and to respect its people. The Pope also highlighted the grief that has led to violent conflicts in the country and to the death of nearly 7 million people in the past 30 years. Unfortunately, he was not able to travel to the east of the country due to health and security concerns. Despite this, coming on this trip was a priority for Pope Francis, and the public first saw the pontiff when he arrived in a wheelchair. Derek Carr was named as an AFC replacement for the Pro Bowl games on Tuesday, much to the surprise of the 31-year-old quarterback. He will be joined by Trevor Lawrence and Tyler Huntley, who replaced the original selections Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, and Josh Allen. Carr will take the chance to make an official goodbye to Las Vegas, as reports have indicated that he has already played his last snap for the Raiders and is being explored for trade destinations. His Pro Bowl selection will be the chance to bid farewell to the team's fan base one last time before he moves elsewhere. The Pro Bowl games will take place throughout the end of the week, culminating in a flag football game on Sunday, February 5th. Former President Donald Trump recently sat for a deposition with New York Attorney General Letitia James as part of a civil fraud investigation. During the questioning, Trump invoked the Fifth Amendment and refused to answer most questions. Transcripts of portions of Trump's deposition were included as an exhibit filed by the New York Attorney General's office. Video of the deposition has now been obtained by CBS News, showing Trump politely answering questions from James and reading a prepared statement before taking the Fifth Amendment. This is a summary of a police report surrounding the death of Tyre Nichols following a traffic stop on January 7. The report suggested that Nichols was violent and had grabbed an officer's gun, but these claims were not substantiated by video evidence. The report also stated that Nichols was pulled over for reckless driving and was irate and sweating profusely when he got out of his vehicle. Officer E.E. E. Martin was listed as a victim in the report, although one of the five officers charged with second-degree murder was identified as Emmett Martin. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more news summaries.